What is sanity of Quip Flash? I'm your host, Cookie Master. This is, you know, and, yeah. hey, wipe that smile off your face. This is serious. It's a, it's a multi cross quiz game where you can screw your phone. <laughs> okay, just kidding. There will be farts and stuff. <laughs> or evenly matched competitors would yeah, make this match. game a lot more interesting. Handle those screws carefully. <laughs> you can force another player to answer immediately by hitting your screw button. If they miss it, you win extra bonus dollars. Ooh. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... The San Francisco Otter Choir. Free concerts every Wednesday. Oh, I love Wednesday. the San Francisco Otter Choir. Yeah, me too. It's my favorite Pick otter the choir. Pick the wrong answer so associated with oh, our no, sponsor I, I, to win a like fabulous the, um, prize and big otter. cash. Yeah, they don't think we've got one. So, let's make this happen. Let's make Let's make this happen. Okay, here we go. I didn't answer the question. For those of you interested, that's the controller I'm looking at, like an old Xbox one. Let's analyze one of Kim Kardashian's body parts. About what percentage of Kim Kardashian's brain is just made up of water? 10%, 40%, 80%, or 100%? Oh, I'm in, I'm in. Kim Kardashian's brain, and Ooh. everybody else's brain for that matter, is made up of about 80% water. Ooh, look at that. But that other 20% is just so round and firm, I can't stop thinking about it. It looks like it varies the point depending on how I look at it. Similar to the other games. Yeah. We should do that. What game is that? We've done it. Buzz. Next up, it. his acting no, is no, alright, alright, alright. So, you know how they called Matthew McConaughey's resurgence as an actor his McConaissance? Well, if Matthew McConaughey is currently experiencing a McConaissance, then what period of his life just ended? The McConaughey Dark Ages, the McConaughey Industrial Age, the McConaughey Middle Ages, or the McConaughey Enlightenment Age? Player one. All wrong, all wrong, all wrong. Ah! Players two, three, and Oops. four. Hey! The Renaissance first occurred in Italy in the late 14th century, yeah, immediately right. following the Middle Ages. So the McConaissance would follow the McConaughey Middle Ages. Which Woo! is funny because most Renaissance sculptures also need to put on a damn shirt. How do you spray some of? I think there's a, uh, I think there's a screw button. There's no screw button on my pad. When the question comes. Here's up. a good one. Brought to you by the letter U. Nebrow. It's the book that twists into order that goes in and see if you are right. <laughs> and what? if you get this one right, <laughs> I'll <laughs> rustle up some extra moolah for you. Arrange these Sesame Street characters in order of fewest to most oh. eyebrows. Bert, Ernie, the Count. Ernie, Bert, the Count. Player two, who gets the ah. screw? Oh no! And while really. Who's he gonna screw? Oh, Player three, Why you're getting screwed. Why? You get <laughs> back <it up. laughs> oh man, time's up. What? I missed it. Well played, screw player two. How do you oh, stop there? Get pay. some more cash. <laughs> oh god, he's gonna get his revenge. So it's all about him. Yeah, do it, baby. Player two. <laughs> Players one and four. <laughs> Ernie has no eyebrows at all. Bert has one long oh, single he? eyebrow. And, and he has no. Has two, I thought it was Bert with one. Two eyebrows. Take me a while to get there, but I got there. You and <laughs> just earned yourselves an extra <laughs> thousand <laughs> bucks <laughs> for that one. <laughs> and yet, uh -oh. none of them have ever blinked. Nice bit of Pucker up for Ooh. Duck Duck Swan. Say the cast of Duck Dynasty attends a performance of Swan Lake and thinks there are real waterfowl on stage. In their confusion, which character would they most likely shoot? Siegfried, Benno, Von Rothbart, or Odette? Oh, player three, who's oh, getting the screw dear. job? Oh, I've accidentally so pressed the screw button. Oh, how did this happen? Superlative <laughs> <laughs> use of the screw, player three. 
Thank you. Thank Why you. Why not pick Thank up you. a few more Better. bucks? Player three? <laughs> no. <laughs> Players one and four? <laughs> Odette is a princess who has been turned into a swan, so the Duck Dynasty crew would probably fill her full of lead. <laughs> Especially if they find out you once fooled He's around with the ladies' college. <laughs> <laughs> Player one. Take a stab <laughs> at the man no. in the backwards yellow hat, and it's a dis or dat. Oh, dis or dat. Player three. What is dis? Yikes! Oh, is that control? Use a hand. Why don't you play this dis or dat and see if it helps? I'm going to read off seven oh, things, and me. for each one, you tell me if it's an alleged antic by pop star Justin Bieber, or Next an we can't antic get away by me. the classic children's book character Curious George. If it's Justin Bieber, press the X button. If it's Curious okay. George, press the B button. Listen? Now the rest what of you should know? listen carefully. Yep. Uh, Pick your answers before oh. player three does, because if player three gets it wrong, everyone who gets it right will split that cash. We good? Ooh. Here we go. Peed in a mop bucket. Broke his leg falling from a fire escape. Arrested for falsely ah. reporting a fire. Egg the house. Oh, that... Yeah, that was just me. I know. On ether. What? Fed a bugle to an ostrich. What? Went to a Brazilian brothel. Ah. Forget George, I'm curious how someone could do this badly. <laughs> I'm not trying any of them. Who's curious? I'm just trying George? to leave it to all of them. <laughs> Pull yourself a fire. I think we can all oh, agree that it's time for that little bastard to get deported. Who is Curious George? That is because I know Curious George, not because I know Justin Bieber. Fuck you and children's books. That about does it for round one. And player four is at the head of the pack. But there's more trivia to come. Just a date. Don't forget, all the questions in round two are worth double. Oh, and remember, big cash prizes can be yours if you find the wrong answer of the game. Okay, let's see what's next. I love the wrong answer of the game. I'm sure I will accidentally. Oh, pool number six. This one's called Dumber and Dumber -er 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 2. So there's Dumb and Dumber, and then there was Dumb and Dumberer, and then Dumb and Dumber 2. Makes perfect sense. Now, going back a few decades, there was The Odd Couple and The Odd Couple 2. So. If another remake of The Odd Couple used the superlative adjective, it would be called the blank couple. Odd, otter, oddest, or otterist. Player three? Now that's just the dumberest answer I ever heard. <laughs> Player four? Odd is the adjective, otter is the comparative adjective, and oddest is the superlative adjective. But of oh. course, everyone who made oh. the original Odd Couple movies is dead, which means it's the perfect time for Rob Schneider to swoop in and revitalize the franchise. <laughs> Players one and two? Don't no, but speaking it. of Will otter... Otter, because I'm very clever. You are very clever. You are very clever. I can't won. even make it. There you go! The greatest hits of the San Francisco Otter Choir. Hailed as one of the top three <laughs> otter choirs in the world, the San Francisco Otter uh, Choir woo! was still the right hand covers of the Blue Red Corvette seat. and the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Today's wrong answer of the game brings you an extra $8,000. What? Surprise. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Here's oh, one for you. Question. Let it go, let it go, let it go. At which temperature uh. would Olaf from the movie Frozen melt and die? 30 degrees Kelvin, 30 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius, or 30 degrees Rankin? He's a snowman. <laughs> Player one. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Players two and four. 
Hmm, you may not know how temperatures work. <laughs> Player three. 30 degrees is below freezing in Fahrenheit and insanely below freezing in Kelvin and Rankin. But it's pretty balmy in Celsius, about the equivalent of 86 degrees How Fahrenheit. How do I not know that in British? <laughs> and I know, blah, Yay! blah, blah, I was he like, can magically oh, be so saved. But I I'm talking about right. what would happen in the that. real world to a talking snowman. I call this one Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, Ooh. or Uranus. I was wondering what was coming out then. <laughs> in 1879, Kangaroo, Peanuts, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. <laughs> Players one and four. Albert Einstein was first spotted in 1879, the year he was born. Probably by a midwife or something over a century after Uranus was discovered and ah. even longer after kangaroos and peanuts. I've heard baby Einstein cried a lot because he left behind some important equations on the uterine wall. Players two and three. That answer has a hole in it. Oh, I'm in minus scores. I'm in minus scores. Double, 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 double. That's usually what happens to Open me. Open wide but... for wine or lose. If the Washington Redskins oh. rebranded themselves with a non-offensive red-skinned mascot, what could they be called? The Washington Chardonnays, the Washington Malbecs, the Washington Pinot Blancs, or the Washington Rieslings? Oh, wait, I want to take that back. <laughs> Oh, hang on, wait. Oh, I've got that. I might have got that. I don't understand this question Player at one. all. What a pity. <laughs> Player three. This is right. Oops. Uh, I mean, this is white, which is wrong. <laughs> There's two Rick, and four. Rick. Chardonnay's, Pinot Blancs, Malbec. and Rieslings yep, are right. all white-skinned grapes, but the Malbec grape is red. <laughs> Although to a connoisseur like Why? myself, Malbec Minus is very grand. offensive. <laughs> oh yes, I do you know say that. that is like a bird. Red, red. <laughs> oh. Why not try? I want to lick and roll all night. If Kiss singer Gene Simmons' tongue grew to the average length of an adult giraffe's, how deep Ooh. into a woman's mouth could he stick it when he kissed her? About Just five off. inches deep, about ten inches deep, about twenty inches deep, or about thirty inches deep? <laughs> Players two and four. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Players one and three. Well, I've seen a giraffe. What were you thinking there? <laughs> Watch how easy this is. <laughs> An adult giraffe's tongue is on average about 18 to 20 inches long. So that's about how deep into a woman's no, mouth a giraffe tongue that. Gene Simmons <laughs> could stick it. Inches is like two feet. And if Gene Simmons' neck grew okay. to the length of an adult giraffe, you may not even that, huh? need women anymore. I didn't get that. Step right up to the jack attack. When you oh, see oh, two clues one that button, match, man. press your A button. Two thousand bucks if you're right, but you lose two thousand if you're wrong. And of course, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Your house is made of what? What materials are their houses made from? Good luck. <laughs> that would be amazing. Oh. That would be less amazing. <laughs> I pressed it! Mm. I pressed it as well. Just me. Oh, second. Mm. Oh, mm. I'm having a complete brain fart over the three big house. I'm still not over. I wasn't going to press it wrong. Oh, oh, it's the tension. The tension? Yeah, he's just got past fingers. I don't know. I don't know. I oh, guess it's pineapple. I guess it's pineapple. Oh. We shouldn't have guessed pineapple. Should have been completely going to be tofu. Does anyone watch it? It's 
not intestines. That would be disgusting. Do we get another guest? I think, well, we can, I think we can lose as much money as you want. Oh, there we go. My button does work. <laughs> <laughs> the Pueblo people. <laughs> ah, crap. Not Sam. Not Buffalo High. Hopefully <laughs> not humans. <laughs> Hopefully not <laughs> <laughs> it was something that went past. Yeah. People who live in Stoffel House in Toronto, so never Toffel. Hey, well, see these. Yeah. Surely that was. Me. Come on! Oh, how was come that on! Not me? Come how was that not me? Why? 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 Why, why would I do this? Love. <laughs> oh god. Surely that was me. How was that not me? Try doing like a repeat. Oh okay. I do. Ah, watched all three seasons. Bring it on! Yeah. Right, I don't think I think we need to take this off the screen before the final scores come up. No, 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 Andy. Oh, frick. player one takes oh, it. Man, oh. I'm in third place, although well, nothing one, quite matters that game. Well, please put it back. Can in. someone screenshot that, please, and tweet it? Too late. <laughs> Too late. To be fair, they only won because they get the wrong answer of the week. <laughs> yes. I'm not sure that completely accounts for the minus twelve thousand. Yeah, no, no, no. Even without that, eight thousand. That's still have beaten you. <laughs> Although I would have won without that. Yes, very yeah, that, that, that was my attempt to realizing that otters were otters. Uh, and festivals that the teenage. If they miss it, you, you win extra cash. Right, we'll go back live. People yeah. won't be able to see it for another minute, but we're starting earlier than we thought we were. Thank you, Henry. Thank you, Henry, for pressing the continue button. Drops. Hey. Why let your mouth oh. have all the fun? You didn't use your eye uh, drops. If you happen to find mm, our sponsor the wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. I'm sorry, I just had don't get this. Well, the wrong answer again. Yeah. All right, let's make history. There's a wrong answer there's someone that's really valuable. Good job. That's right. How do we say when we do this wrong? To get things rolling, Ray die. It's a stupid thing. Which of these Julia Roberts characters would Jack the Ripper have been most likely to savagely murder? Aaron Brockovich, Vivian Ward, Tess Ocean, or Liz Gilbert? I've got no idea. Um. Um. Player um. two, let this be a lesson to you. Player four? This answer is worth ocean zero. Ah! Players one and three? <laughs> Vivian Ward is the name yeah, of the first Julia Roberts plays She's the pretty woman. Pretty and woman all the serial killer Jack the Ripper's alleged victims were female prostitutes. prostitutes. So he'd probably have just loved to murder her. She's a prostitute. <laughs> I can see it now. He'd open the box she has with no his in it. She'd reach in and he'd playfully shut it, snapping her fingers. She'd laugh, he'd laugh, then he'd kill her. Oh, I'm gonna tell you 
ถ้าร้อยหน่อยหน่อยมาให้ฉันอธิบายถ้าฉันมีความเชื่อใจ Suppose the Scarecrow from the Wizard of Oz faced off against the Wicked Witch of the West in a public debate. If he wanted to use a straw man argument against her, what might he do? Attack the Wicked Witch's character rather than the issues? Misrepresent the Wicked Witch's position on the issues? Prove the Wicked Witch wrong using statistical data? Or interrupt the Wicked Witch before she finishes her points? Player four times almost up. Why? Why did you do that? Player three, honest mistake. Uh, why did you do that? Players you one and two. I didn't. Hey, remember when the scarecrow says oh. the sum of the square roots of any two sides of an isosceles triangle is equal to the square root of the remaining side? Yeah, he was actually wrong. So you guys have that in common. Remember when the scarecrow says <laughs> the sum of the square roots of any two sides of an isosceles triangle is equal to the square root of the remaining side? Yeah, he was actually wrong. So you guys have that in common. <laughs> Here's where the money is. A straw man argument purposefully misrepresents an opponent's position in order to strike it down. Here's how I would debate the Wicked Witch, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm, one of yeah, the two candidates you see here tonight champions. is a Wicked Witch. Thank you. I yield the rest of my time. Still can. You can even answer the question. Yeah. Yeah. And then you blame us for screwing Here's what I like to call. Getting naughty, and this dis or dat likes really being tied look. up. Oh, it's still there. Two. Not such a great score there. Why don't you play this dis or dat? I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, you tell me if it's the name of a necktie knot or the oh, name God. of a sex position recommended by Women's <laughs> Health magazine. If it's a necktie knot, <laughs> press the X button. If it's a I sex position, all of them, so press the button. Yeah. The rest of you should still keep your eyes open. He knows a lot about neck, guys. Make your selections before player two, because if player two gets it wrong, everyone who got it right will split the winnings. Okay, we're off. The half Windsor. The valedictorian. The Prince Albert. The Trinity. The Caboose. The chairman. The foreign hand. <laughs> it appears your score really? likes to be on really? bottom. Oh, how is funny, Hanwha? Hello. We're going to mock you for that. Your lack of sex uh. position knowledge. You thought foreign hand? What would foreign hand be? <laughs> My usual sex position is Four also the way woman. I usually tie a tie. Alone in front of a mirror. And on its way, shop till everyone drops. Say at Christmas time, every single item at your local mall sells out. According to a popular grim fairy tale, which of these stores has the best chance to be magically stocked overnight by hardworking elves? Footlock. Player three, who gets your screw? Player four, you are so screwed. You got five seconds. Why? <laughs> Easy, Abby. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Uh, Sucks to be you. Screwing player it three. Suck to me. Time to twist the knife. <laughs> Players one, two, and three. In the grim fairy tale, the elves and the cobbler, a poor shoemaker is given some much-needed help by yeah, elves who appear in the middle right. of the night. Yeah. And while the shoemaker yeah, made a nice profit, the elves me. were trampled to death you on Black Friday. Right, so you thought, I know what I'll do. I'll actually screw her, that will make things better. Well, I thought I might as well get in trouble for something I've done. <sighs> we brought it upon his own. I was losing, and you screwed me. We had this conversation about playing games. Okay, <laughs> <don't be up. laughs> if you're driving between company headquarters, which trip should be the shortest? IKEA to Kia, Kia to Nokia, Nokia. Player two, who's gonna get that screw? Addy is. It was only good thing. Oh, you can't just leave your himself. screw hanging out in the breeze <laughs> like that. <laughs> 
three. That's five amazing. Five Let's come try up. to forget that ever happened. Come on. So that's where the company headquarters are. I don't even know what here is. Player one. Hey, way to be wrong. Aki is sweet, four? isn't it? Mm. Good so effort. Just... Good effort. Player three. Nokia is based in Finland. Yes, it is the win. I was right I'm next door in Sweden. Sweden. Kia <laughs> is based in South Korea. <laughs> Whether it's food, no, it's I'm winning. furniture, Bring it or cars, on. if it's got Kia in the name, you know it's yeah, gonna be totally cheap. Yeah, we totally need to put Hen while screwing himself onto the uh, YouTube channel. Inexpensive. I thought he's gonna just, just play on loop. On. Just play on loop. Let's say so long to round one. And player three is at the front of the class. And quite impressively, <laughs> I might add. Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round two. And don't forget about your screws. You're being too nice. <laughs> No, I'm not. It doesn't work. Yeah, mine doesn't work either. Coming up next... You have to press it. Muscle like, milk was a bad choice. When he finishes the question, I think. Say the news team from the Anchorman films decides to run a relay race against a rival news team. If Ron Burgundy is his team's anchor, when will he run? Before... You got a player four. Pick someone to screw. You're screwed, player three. Five seconds to pick an answer. In a relay race, the anchor, usually the fastest runner, goes last. And they would probably promote the race so incessantly that by the time Someone it actually took place, you wouldn't be that, that interested in seeing it anymore. With the smug Addy. Or you just got screwed yourself. <laughs> oh, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Those negative scores again. Next. Guess who's Dak? Dak again. Yes, you know, I'm not an optimist, but I have to say, I feel like things have been going pretty well with the game so far. Send daddy for data out me. Oh no, my old ventriloquist puppet, Billy O'Brien. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not me. Billy, the whole creative team here decided to not include you in this game because you're too much of a troublemaker. Troublemaker? Me? No, I just got back from traveling the world, studying all the profound teachings of titular world spiritual leaders. For instance, which titular religious group was found to die someone with the last name of Smith? Protestants, Episcopalians, Trustitarians, or Nornuts? I'm the. Which popular religious dude was banned by coming to love the Smith? Player four, how about it? Player four? Uh -huh. <gasps> Players 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> the Mormon religion was founded in the 1800s by Joseph Smith. Can you explain in America. that? Uh, it, the question was which religious group was best so founded by someone with the last name of Smith? And then he's mispronounced all the things, and it's the Mormons that founded by Joseph Smith. Uh, what was the name of his other leg? I didn't know that. I hope the Kondak is a beautiful coffee table. Oh, these questions seem to be. Follow me down to the Daddy. Try this on for size. Orcas 11. Say I wanted to go around freeing the killer whales from every SeaWorld location in the world. How many separate oh, rescue God. missions would oh, I need to God. go on? Player 1, who's gonna get it? What? The way the player 3, you're what? screwed. What? You got oh, five that, seconds. This is not gonna go well for you. I think it's Hossies. Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, why you? <laughs> because you're in the lead. <laughs> oh, he did my point. How many? What one did you pick? Five. Players one, two, and four. Did you pick this on porpoise? <laughs> <laughs> it's so obvious. There are three Sea Worlds. Oh man, that one was like my Diego, last one choice. in San Antonio, and one in Orlando. So you would need to go on three separate rescue missions. I knew about the Orlando one. Well, that sounds like a lot of traveling. Maybe I'll just pay that kid from Free Willy to do it. Funny. Something tells me he can yeah, use the I cash. Like it. I, I might not be able to sleep tonight for that. Why does no one like puns anymore?
Up next, Kangaroo, Peanuts, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, yeah. or Uranus? The name of Jeff Dunham's purple-skinned puppet. Kangaroo, Peanuts, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Never heard of it. Player two? That answer has a hole in it. <laughs> Players one, three, and four? His name is Peanut. That I knew it sounds like puppet then. Yeah. Puppets, Does that mean there's a whole bunch of guess questions on this game that are all Peanut, Kangaroo, Albert, Einstein, or Uranus? Probably at least four. They're kind of so I don't recognize the number. I love how number one's making a pipe. Coming up, screen? the midnight run to the bathroom. According to Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, how would Paul Revere secretly signal to you that he has to pee in the sea? I have to do a number one in a one. I have to do a number one in a two. I have to do a number one in a three. Or, I have to do a number two in a one. Players two and four. Oh, wait. Ow. Players one and three. Surely that's right. I've never heard of this. Ah! Oh. Here's what a right answer looks like. According to Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's poem, Paul Revere's Ride, Paul's signal for the British was one if by land, two if by sea. And as we all know, a number one is a P. And Americans would have known about the British sooner if he hadn't stopped for a number four. <laughs> you don't even want to know what that is. That's just a pump. Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that... Okay, let's oh, get the... We know this is not over. My yes. mistake. Here's your clue. This plus this <laughs> equals that. What new thing do these combine to make? Good luck. So speedy, the finger of the fire. How is that Such not a me? Fiery finger. I don't have a cheat tech. How is that not me? Oh. You are blatantly cheating. Ow, I've got one button. I. What was it? What are we looking for? I don't know. Or whatever they would, would make. Yeah, it's all right. How is that not me? Come on. Definite cheating. <laughs> I have one bone. <laughs> ah, shit. What happened to the fuck's this? Oh, the fuck's this? Oh. Black? What's a black one? Like? That was definitely me. Well, I think there's some lag going on here. <laughs> Player three wins it all! Player three, you did it, see? And you thought you didn't have a chance of winning. I'm telling you, Player I'm so three, you gotta be more confident. Well. You need to start every morning by looking in the mirror What if we add up our scores for both games? Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure you, you want to add those two minus scores <laughs> together. I'm not sure that's gonna help. Shall we play the game that, like, one...